Hi guys, Marcus here. Today another eBay item. It's a party bubbler from the German company Pusifix. And it's new. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it is new. But it's not working. So there's no power. I think I paid not much for it. I will put it on the screen right now. Okay. That's our device. That's our soap liquid. Yes, it is. It's one liter. Let's get it out. Okay, that's pretty lightweight. Okay, that's our device. I haven't watched the manual or something. I think it's easy that you're just putting in some um, yeah, soap liquid in here. This wheel is turning and on the back side you can see yeah just basically a fan when the fan is spinning this little wheel is getting into the soap this will wet our rings with the soapy water and this thing is just blow it out and you have i don't know millions of, of soap bubbles i think that's how it works we could call it bubbles in motion <laughs> so what do we get Model number, that's uninteresting. We have 232, 240 volts, so here in Germany. Um, or you can use... Okay, maybe there was a power plug with it, but I got no power plug. Let me check if there is something else in. Oh, I have manual. Mm -hmm. Clean the machine, uh, cleaning and maintenance of the bubble machine after use, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. Okay, I think there is nothing with it, but you could also just use batteries. So let's try both of it. First, let's open the battery compartment. Batteries! C size batteries. Okay, I think I need more C size batteries in general. I just have two. Let's quickly measure the batteries laying around. One point five one and the second one one point five one either. Let's try to put it in. Okay, it's already flipped nothing happening so the description is yes it's true it's not turning on <laughs> let's pull the batteries out okay let power supply to yeah three volts one amp that should be enough plenty enough um yeah let's try it that's the another end of my lab power supply, or one of the ends. Let's quickly measure. Three volts. Nice. Perfect. Okay. What's the polarization? Polarization needs to be plus in the middle. Yeah, and ground in the upper outside. That's exactly what we have here. Okay, let's put it in. Seems to fit. It's snugly. Can pull it out easily. Flip it to on and nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Can we fix it? That's the question. I think we need to get into this little thing. Let's do that. How can we open it? Okay, I see screws. I do need a long screwdriver for this. Oh, and have a look at the serial number for this kind of product. Mm -hmm. The magic bubble toy. Okay. So let's see. Oh, contains no serviceable parts. Temple with a base with void warranty. I don't think that there is, uh, yeah, something complex electronic inside, but who knows what we will see in the inside. Well, 
Okay, and I see... What is this? A little loose cable or something? No, it's not loose. Wait, what is happening here? Oh, of course it's loose! Ah! I think that is our issue. You see, we have here our switch. O to one and one contact here is not connected. Yeah, I think that's the complete reason why it's not working with the battery because it's going to the yellow wire. The uh, inlet here is just doing the same thing and yeah. I'm pretty sure when we connect it back that this thing will work. So let's fire up our soldering iron and put some fresh solar at these joints. Yeah, and then it's exactly what I was telling you. There's basically nothing in. It's just going straight the wires to the fan, and I think if this is spinning, this will spin also this puppy, but that's not completely true. So maybe we can open this up just to get an idea how it's working. But first, let's fix it. Okay, it is on. We will secure it with some um, hot glue in a moment. But first, let's try if it's working. So let me flip the power button to off. All right, on and. What a surprise! It's working! And yeah, let me basically just put some some glue to it to secure it. Um, yeah, hot air station. Oh, let's go full. Full temperature, that's 500 degrees Celsius, full airflow. And let's see. Mmm, yummy, hot glue. This looks yummy! Well, that should basically be enough to secure it. I mean, there is nothing going on there. We are just using 3 volts DC, so that should be absolutely fine. Let's remove the little glue strings. And check if it's working. It is. Great. Now let's have a look. What's inside? How is it working? Um, I don't think that we need to get it further apart. I think it's really easy. We have the fan motor and there's just some gears inside to slow down the rotation. Um, yeah, for, for our soaps. Yeah, that's it. Nothing special. That's just an... I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, probably not. Well, that's just a standard DC motor, so nothing fancy at all. So let's put it back together and let's try it out if it's working. Oh, the whole construction feels so cheap. <sighs> One more dry test. Yep, working. Ah, okay, and I forgot to put this thing in. <sighs> okay, now let's put back our high quality case. Let's try it with the batteries. And... Yep. Yep. Perfect. Okay, let's close our battery compartment. Okay, let's put a bit of our soapy liquid in here. Not sure how much. 
think that's our test plenty. That's just our indoor test. We will test it outside, of course. Okay. Switch the handy dandy power switch and what is going on? Okay, it's turning. Turning. Turning and whoa! Working! Nice! Could we fix it? Yes! I think this is a very good example of what is gonna happen if the quality control of the company is not sufficient. People toss away items where literally just one cable gun loose, which prevent the device from powering on. In times of scarce resources, we should all deal with such problems more consciously. Thank you very much for your patience and watching till the end. If you like what I'm doing, please consider liking this video and subscribe to my channel. This will help me a lot. Have a heart for broken devices and give them a second chance. I hope to see you soon. Stay healthy and until next time. Bye.